In St. Paul, we are trying to reinvent ourselves. We have historically been a coal and railroad community. We are changing our focus to outdoor recreation and tourism and a high quality of life for the residents. The Clinch River, of course, is one of the most biodiverse rivers in North America. It's always been here and we've never taken advantage of it like we are now. Uh, it's not well known throughout the Commonwealth, much less the country, it's small. We haven't respected it enough in past years because there was a lot of pollution and we have different agencies, especially Curvy, trying to reinvent how the river should be taken care of. And so right now here in St. Paul, we have three outfitters that take advantage of that. It's like anything else in a community, especially a tight-knit community. If there is a need Kathy has, then I jump in and help her. The same thing the other way. You know, if I need a place for a large group to meet, she'll say, why don't we have it down here? Why don't we go to Oxbow? Or let's do something different. So it's sisters helping sisters. The outdoor adventures in the town of St. Paul has really brought more people into town. They love riding the river. They love riding the trails. They love walking the trails. But they're also starting to love environmental education here or a drama over there. So we're beginning to see not just outdoor activity, but cultural activities too, and educational activities. This particular hotel, Western Front Hotel, did have some ARC funding. We also have the Historic Lyric Theater, which is in revitalization process right now, has also had ARC funding, and that is very important to the town. And this project will add a lot to St. Paul, not only entertainment, Spearhead, of course, with ARC funding, they've been able to do trail maintenance, hire rangers, expand their trails, and that's important because that indirectly affects things in St. Paul.